Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to take you through Map Intelligence with Excel, working with data of an air flight um, path, and showing this not only on a 2D map, but using the altitude to show in a 3D sense. And in this instance, we'll use Google Earth. As you can see in the spreadsheet, we've got some sample data of a flight path with lap long and with altitude. This has already been mapped up and we'll push the data to the map server now on Amazon to generate a map, which will come back in our browser in a 2D view. Um, there's about 5,000 points in this data set, so take a little bit of time to push it up, but we've got our map back now. You can see we've got the flight path over North America, and the points are color-coded by the flight altitude. Um, obviously, they're close there. This aquarium blue color and green where they're closer to landing in the airport here. Um, this particular location is based on Toronto. What we want to do now is push this data out to a 3D environment. So we can use one of our tools down here. We can do it as a live link or as a standalone KMZ file. In this instance, we'll do it as a KMZ file. We push the button to open in 3D. It's now generating the KMZ file. Um, we can open up. Google Earth. So that same data that we had in uh, our map generated from Excel will be available now in the 3D environment in Google Earth. So Google Earth's just starting up and zooming into the location where that data was. We can turn on the legend and we can see the flight path points there. What we might do is zoom in close into the Toronto area where we've got the aircraft when it was coming into land. You can see the points there color coded by the altitude range. These ones, light bluish ones, obviously closer to the ground. If we zoom in a little bit further and now maneuver Google Earth so we get on a side on view. What you can see here is the points are the flight location points are actually anchored to the ground with a line. So they're anchored to the point on the lat of the lat long on the ground um, corresponding to the point in the air. And we can see those points. Um, we'll just ro rotate Google Earth around our view so we can see the points going off into the distance. We, um, as the flight progresses, if we click on one of these points, we'll get some information about that particular point. So that's a pretty quick demonstration of how you can take 3D data with altitude in your Excel spreadsheet and using map intelligence generated out to Google Earth. Thanks for that.